Hello friends and welcome to the crux of the matter. In this segment I'd like to talk about superstition and why it's dangerous to the person who practices it in its many varied forms which more often than not stem from a tendency toward magic or false devotion. When it tends towards magic, superstition attributes a kind of magical power to certain practices or objects like charms or omens. Reliance on such power rather than on trust in Almighty God constitutes an offense against the honor, adoration, and worship due to Almighty God alone, as required by the first commandment, I am the Lord your God, you shall not have strange gods before me. Whenever superstition is rooted in an allurement toward magic, it reflects a false mentality that may or may not be rooted in a false devotion. False devotion is really a false notion of what constitutes proper worship of God, and this can take on a variety of forms, like chain letters, chain prayers, veneration of unapproved objects, and similar such things. But their common denominator is an excessive concern that unless certain external practices are performed, God will not be pleased. Put simply then, superstition is really unseemly or irreverent worship of God, or giving to a creature the worship that properly belongs to God alone. Giving divine worship to a creature is either idolatry, divination, or vain observance. So it is that the term superstition more commonly means unbecoming worship of God. And that's the crux of the matter. I'm Father Wade Menezes with the Fathers of Mercy. Thanks for being part of our EWTN family.